Now in this part of the tutorial, we'll create a particle system to generate a bunch of fish. So go to particle systems and uh, drag the PF source icon in the viewport. Rotate the icon like this. Now these are the particles traveling like this. Now open the particle view window. The birth amount may be 20. Emit stop at 100. Emit start from uh, minus 50. I don't uh, need rotation, so let it. And since uh, speed is quite high, so make it low. Still high, so make it something like this. Now instead of shape, I'll put shape in stance and uh, pick the main fish body as the particle geometry object. Now go to display and turn the type to geometry. Now the particles have changed the shape to fish. But you can see a problem here. They are going uh, in the reverse direction. This is because the reverse direction of the main fish. So do one thing first shut off the display now go to helpers and uh, make a dummy in the viewport and now select and link this is small dummy to this big dummy now rotate this big dummy like this to change the direction of the fish now you will see this problem the unusual behavior of the dummy. So to rectify this problem there is a trick. Just select the big dummy and simply delete it. And the problem has gone. You won't see that problem again. Now turn the display on and uh, now you can see the fish are going to the right direction. Now select the main fish, right click and hide this from the viewport. Now go to shape instance and turn on and turn on animated shape option so that all fish will animate. You can see here you can see here. Now go to scale percentage and uh, scale it down. Give uh, some variation to make some fish bigger, some smaller. And uh, select the icon and increase its length and width. Here it looks that the fishes are going uh, straight, but in a certain angle. Hmm, I don't know why it's happening. Hmm. Okay. There's a problem. Okay. Do one thing, uh, just let the speed and uh, introduce a new speed in this event and now it looks fine the problem has gone okay now go to shape instance the animation offset king is uh, set to absolute time so all looks same so change to particle edge and set the 
random offset to something like this let's see now the animation uh, in two fish will not look same I think leave it to the absolute time with the random offset something like this now it looks quite impressive now we can add some uh, lights in the scene you can use any light you want if you want to apply standard lights you can do it but uh, here I use a V-ray light in the scene Uh, and uh, go to render setup and change the renderer to V-Ray Advanced and uh, let's check the render image how does it look like it's quite bright now so in the real scene in the real video footage uh, which I had shot with my video camera the sunlight was coming from uh, this direction so put this light here its multiplier is quite high so turn it down a bit check the render it looks something like this we can add uh, one more light from this angle to use it as a fill light with less intensity the camera angle is quite perfect because the scene is something like this I know how I shot the scene and uh, where my camera was so this is the perspective of my scene or you can take a snapshot and put it um, as a background in 3ds Max to match it with the camera so once the things are ready just go to render setup and choose the same dimension of the frames 1280 720 as uh, I have the original one 1280 720 so now just render the frames and in the next video we will see how to composite the CG fish with the real pool footage